Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about how to refill Canon's integrated cartridge. We're going to use a PG260 and a CL261 cartridge as example. Uh, it's called integrated because the, uh, the printhead and the ink tank is built into one unit. So that's the whole cartridge. Basically, if you throw away a cartridge and put a new cartridge in, you get a new printer, basically. Everything, all the quality, everything is controlled by this cartridge. Okay, let's start talking about the anatomy of the uh, of the cartridge. Canon makes a two uh, two kinds of cartridge. One is shorter, one is taller. For the shorter one, you're going to use a EZ thirty S. S means short. And for the taller one, you're going to use EZ thirty T. You can see a uh, shorter one uh, in the US, including two ten. Uh, 243, 244, 245, 246. For the taller one, you have 240, and uh, 260, uh, 241, 261. The difference between those two kits is only this clip. Okay, the, everything else is the same. Just as have a shorter clip. For the international buyers, if uh, if you have a different model, you know the Canon use different models in a different sales region. Uh, for example, 245 may become uh, 845. So what you do is you can just take a ruler and then measure the front of the cartridge. The short one is about 3.5 centimeters. And the tall one is exactly 4 centimeters. Uh, no matter what number it is, um, if the height matches, it's, it's going to work on, uh, this kit is going to work on yours. Those kits can be found by going to bchtechnologies.com, go to Ink for Printers, and uh, review Ink for Canon, Oda Ink, and uh, you're going to see the EZ30T and the EZ30S. If you bought other kits, uh, such as uh, ID30 KCMY or uh, uh, over bulk ink, bottle ink, uh, it's not possible to include all the tools. I think the only other tool you may need is the uh, priming tool. To get a priming, priming tool individually, you can go to accessories and the priming clip and syringes. Again, there's a tall clip uh, there's, and uh, there's a short clip. Uh, on the top of the cartridge, there are two things. One is air hole, one is air channel. Here's the tiny hole. This is the air hole. The ink coming out of cartridge, if you do have an air hole to breathe, the, there will be a vacuum inside the cartridge. So it will work a couple pages, then it will stop working. You may have some uh, version look like this. The air hole is from, if it comes from bottom, is one, two, three, four, five. It's the fifth on the left. The air hole is right here. Uh, this one I already sealed it, so you don't really see it, see it. So if you take a, this kind out, air hole is right here. The important that is air hole is uh, normally we pick the air hole to drill the to enlarge it, so we can put the ink in. So that's also your refill hole. Uh, for the colors, uh, later on, uh, later on I'll, I'll show you more. Is uh, they divide into three chambers. Each chamber will have a uh, its own air hole. There's nothing really significant about air channel. It's basically when you put a sticker on, you don't uh, you don't block the air in the air hole. So that's why they have those channels. After the refill, you can either just expose the hole, do not do not seal it. Uh, if you want to seal it, do not seal the air tight. Uh, you can put a, any kind of sticker on here, and then maybe you 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 pinch a little hole. Just make sure you don't block it. Okay, now we turn turn it to the back. And this is 260 cartridge. In the back, we've got two things. One is electronic ribbon, and another one is the chip. The electronic ribbon, it controls your printhead. To make it simple, uh, the chip serves as an odometer of the cartridge. It counts how many pages the uh, cartridge has printed. Uh, basically, it counts how many uh, times the, uh, not, the nozzle gets get fired. However, um, just make it simple, just how many pages are printed. And uh, the chip only goes one way, from the full to empty. And you cannot turn it backwards, you cannot turn it from the from empty to full. 
neither the printer or the cartridge have any way to tell actually how, mu how much ink is in the cartridge at any moment. So the number you see from the printer is, uh, is uh, I'll call the chip level, uh, is estimate how much ink in the printer. For this example, this is rechipped. I glue another chip on, on top of uh, the original chip. So the printer read from, from this new chip. And this is how they remanufacture it. Of course, this chip is a one way too. So it's, it's sort of like a take out the old odometer, put a new odometer in. On the bottom, of course, is nozzle. Because you have three colors, so you have a three columns. So let's talk about inside. Inside, there are two things. One is the sponge. I told you these are three colors, so, has, so each color will have its own chamber. There are two things. One is a sponge. Sponge is where it soak up the ink. The sponge control the ink pressure and holds the ink, so it will not uh, over flood the nozzles. The difference between XL and uh, non-XL is uh, non-XL will have a have a smaller sponge for the black. Okay, for the color is the same. For the black, uh, for example, this is non-XL, so the so we have a smaller sponge, and that's why the cover goes very deep, so they, they press the sponge down. However, for the XL, this whole part is the sponge. And this is, this is different uh, from model to model. For example, uh, the, for the 260, uh, the sponge is still small, they just leave this space empty. Refill capacity is totally limited by how big your sponge is. If you fill up this whole empty space with ink, it's not going not to work because your sponge cannot hold that this much ink. The ink going to flow out. Underneath the sponge, there's a funnel. And on top of the funnel, there's a, uh, there's a filter. So the funnel looks like this. It funnels down. So the a function for the funnel is it collects the ink from the sponge, provides the nozzle. Uh, I'm going to use a brand new uh, Canon PIXMA TS5330, uh, which uses 260 and the CL261 cartridges. And this is a brand new, uh, brand new printer and brand new cartridge. I'm going to walk you through with the first refill. I got the printer set up. Now we try to use up the ink come come from the original cartridge. Uh, remember, there's a difference of actual ink level inside the cartridge and what the printer estimated ink level. And I will call the actual level, actual level. I will call the printer's ink monitor uh, to be a chip in chip ink level because it's estimated from the chip. Manufacturer usually get a, make the chip level a little bit higher than the uh, actual level. So you're going to use up your uh, uh, your actual ink before your chip level runs out. So here we get actual ink runs out. However, if you look at the ink monitor, uh, the ink monitor is going to show there's still some, some ink left in the black. So that means the chip level is larger than actual level. For the first time, when the ink is low, you have to monitor they actually print out periodically. So you can see um, here, so this page is still good. And uh, this is a little bit faded than this one. So we stop right here. So we stop the third page. So we burn the black uh, cartridge a, a little bit. As, uh, I don't think it's gonna damage it. So we just stop it on time. So we take our beloved uh, EZ30T. And uh, we have a drill, black clip, two pads. The longer one is for black and the shorter one is for color. So we'll put the longer one first. You can either use a knife to peel off this label or you can just drill through the cover, drill through the label. It's up to you. Underneath this label, this is the air hole. You can drill anywhere, and uh, you can drill here, 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 anywhere. But I, I, I usually just drill through the air hole. 
And some people like to drill it upside down, so everything going to fall down rather than get into the cartridge. So for the sh shooting this video, I'll just drill the side way. Okay. And now we're going to add ink into it. Uh, the question is over is how much ink you want to add to it. Most time I suggest people add less than more. Um, uh, let me draw the plan of what we're going to do. Here's your cartridge. And uh, here's the nozzle. The cartridge going to drop ink. Here's the, and the back here is the electronic ribbon where the printer has contact with. Okay. And uh, under, underneath this cover, here's a funnel. And the funnel going to have ink to collect the ink from the top. Then the, car, the funnel will be filled with ink. And un, above that is a sponge. And the sponge is going to hold the ink. And then the, this funnel is going to suck ink into the printhead. Uh, if you add too much ink, and on top there is some edge, if you add ink more than the sponge, just by gravity, the ink is going to leak out. So that's why you should add uh, the ink in the sponge. Um, that, that, that's why you shouldn't add too much ink. However, it's not, it's not that critical. If you add too much, the ink is going to leak out. It's going to automate, automatically balanced. So you just waste a little bit of ink. That, that's fine. It, it's, it's not a big problem. Okay. The big problem is this. So let's say this funnel is always filled with ink, and uh, which supplies to, to the nozzle. However, if you use up all the ink in the funnel, okay, the ink, the funnel right now is full of air. Then you add ink to the uh, to the sponge above. This funnel is still empty, so you cannot print it out. So that's why our plan one is adding enough ink to, to saturate this sponge. Then we suck underneath a little bit. We suck ink to fill this funnel. Okay. So that's the first step. We adding ink. Make sure you have a paper towel underneath. You can poke the sponge a little bit and then score some ink. Uh, sponge will suck it in. Later on, we're going to use a priming clip to suck it in to the filter. So, so normally you add a, like a, uh, maybe 10 to 15 uh, squeezes. And now what we're going to do is the second step. We're going to put this clip on. A lot of people complain that, uh, that the clip is too short. It's not too short. Just line it in the middle and push down and forward okay it's hard to put it on because it has to be tight now we'll get a syringe and point it down because we want to draw the ink to into this funnel if you is too if you feel it's too easy that's because you don't have a good seal here what you do is sort of like use your finger as a lever so you push it this one down if you see you only draw the air, you, you may just uh, take it out and restart. Just to make sure everything is lined up and uh, the front, line up to the front and uh, press it down and press it hard. So the front has to drop down and uh, the whole thing should line up. So you may have a little bit of seam here, so you need to use your finger to press it down and draw. So we put a cartridge in, then we go to device printers and printing preference. And uh, we can do another check. Pretty good. So back to our odometer. We just add ink, so we know the black cartridge is full of ink. So the actual ink level is full. However, um, we're still going to show low ink on the ink monitor. Uh, you cannot turn back your odometer. 
And uh, however, you can turn it off. Uh, you cannot turn off at any time. You have to wait until it runs to zero. So right now, we just ignore the black ink is low, and uh, we'll just keep using it. Uh, many people are confused. Uh, uh, they add the ink and say the ink level is low, and uh, the print out quality is not uh, is undesirable. The print quality is bad, or you get a blank page, is because it did not prime the cartridge. It's not because the ink level. The ink level is totally irrelevant to what you're doing now. So we just keep using the printer and wait for that magic moment that we can res we can turn off the odometer. Uh, keep an eye on the colors. Because you haven't refilled the color cartridge yet, your actual ink level in the cartridge, uh, in the color cartridge, may be low. The black odometer is about to run out now. Okay, uh, now we run over the limit on the black. So the black odometer is out. So the following ink has run out. Now you can see the black from change from exclamation mark to a question mark. Okay. Actually, if you read it, I cannot tell you what to do. You want to continue printing, press the stop button for at least five seconds. So what you actually do is uh, keep this window open. Okay, keep it open, don't close it. And come up here and hold the stop button. Hold it for five seconds. And you can see by a back, it went back to printing. So what you have done is you turn off the ink monitor for the black cartridge. Now the printer will not monitor how much ink level in the black anymore. So you can basically you can print it forever. And if you see the screen, the black is totally white out. Okay, this is what uh, exactly like what I expected. So the actual ink actual ink in the cartridge was out about 200 pages then the cannon's odometer the chip was out about 270 pages now here i make it 250 just be conservative so it always better to keep the the cartridge wet so now i'm worried a little bit worried about the color um, because the actual ink level in the in the color is low so I don't want to wait the color be actually out. So I'm gonna go refill right now. Okay, another another advantage of uh, filling refill it early is if it's still printing, guess what? The chamber is full of ink, so I probably won't need to prime it. Yeah, I'm gonna just take out our beloved uh, EC30T. The color one has uh, three colors. Then each region will have an air hole, just like the black. One here, one here, and one here. Therefore, it's not like black. Black, you can drill anywhere for the color. You have, um, I normally just drill right on the air hole. This is why you have a toothpick. Agenda. The cyan and just feel like how deep you put in there until you touch the sponge. So here is this deep. Therefore, there the sponge is little. I'll just drop five squeezes of uh, magenta because this is not XL model. XL model you you can I can add more ink, but here I'm gonna just have five drops. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. The priming. So you we take the black pad off, put the color pad on. Again, this is tight. Push down and push forward. Okay. So I see this one is completely inside now. And now we draw some ink. I'm gonna draw a little bit. Okay. If you bought a bulk ink, you don't have this uh, priming tool. What you can do is uh, you wrap around, 
you take a paper towel and then wrap wrap around the cartridge. You take a vacuum hose you know, from your house uh, from your house vacuum. Just suck it, so you can suck the ink in into the the funnel. If you say if you say the link is leaking after refill, that because you feel too much. If you too, feel too much, don't worry. Just leave it in overnight, and the excess of ink going to run out, and you're going to have a pretty balanced uh, cartridge. So right now we just run more pages uh, until the the color ink level monitor or odometer uh, runs out, so we can turn it off. Okay, five hundred and eighty nine pages. Then you get uh, this one. Okay, uh, and uh, remember what to do. Do we close this window? No, do not close this window. Come back here and find that red button. Just click on it and hold five seconds. And you're going to see that window disappear when you're holding the. See, that disappear. You hear a click. Turn it back to work. And now, if you see the estimate ink levels, both of them are, are blank now. So I will not keep tracking of the ink level. So you and your printer will happily ever after after this. So you might wonder, like, how I'm going to keep track of the actual ink levels. The best way to track it actually is having a scale. You can find your local dealer, and uh, uh, those probably sell for like 10, 10, 10 15 bucks on eBay. And uh, you refill your printer, you refill cartridge, and uh, do not wait right after refill. Put it, put it in your printer, uh, set it overnight. The second day, and uh, second day, that's exactly the full and the balanced uh, cartridge. So the color, you can put it on. So for example, the this one is 51 grams. And uh, this one is half full. So uh, I haven't refilled it yet, it's half full. And this one's 36, I, I have, if I wait it, I'm gonna refill it and wait it tomorrow. So in that way, you know exactly how much ink in there. The second way is kind of easy. So you take a ream of paper, each refill can ref you can print about a half, the half a rim of black. So you just uh, take a rim and uh, separate two half. So whenever you whenever you finish that half, you, you refill black. And when you, ref, when you finish the whole stack, uh, or every two half stacks, you refill color. And uh, the third one, of course, you can refill regularly. You can refill every week or every two weeks, just put a couple drops in it. And the fourth way is just keep an eye on the printout. Uh, if you see the ink, uh, the printout is faded, and just add ink. For some earlier printer models, uh, they have those ink lights. Uh, when the the estimated ink level or the chip ink level is full or more than eighty percent, and the light is off. So when it thinks the ink is low, the light become amber but steady. And when you turn it off, when you turn the ink monitor off or the odometer off, this light will be blinking yellow. And those lights have nothing to do with how you print. Remember, if you have problem problem with with the printing, the blank is strapped, go prime it, and uh, just don't pay any attention to those those lights. Okay, I think that's all you have. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you have a, this hazard light and the, this, uh, for, for example, the color light, the color ink light, they uh, light up together, that means uh, the printer cannot detect your cartridge. If you remember what I mentioned earlier, uh, that's because you have a dirt or you have a, uh, you, you have a, a spilled ink on back of your, on back of your uh, your ribbon and uh, you go clean it and put it in, put it back and do it a couple of times if it doesn't work and then you have to throw the, your cartridge away because it's, it's, it's gone bad
I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, every day we threw a million cartridges into the landfill. And uh, you can stop this. You can refill cartridge at least five times. At least, at least. I mean, just for starters, you can do that. Okay, take your tools and save the earth. Peace.